So we'll do a little update on my last video. I was talking about my solar system out here. Um, had a PWM charge controller. I, you know, I don't have a straight up ammeter to it, but I checked it a few times with the multimeter, and the most ever seen getting out of it was two and a half amps, and the panel's supposed to get five amps. So I was kind of keen in it getting an MPPT charge controller. I also wanted to get something that should be good quality, last, hold up some abuse, and maybe have some features that I wanted for future expansion later on. Get a bigger house, have it run in the house and all. Right now I'm just kind of piddling, experimenting with it in, the, in my building here. But uh, I got one. Hopefully it should last uh, for quite a while. It feels to be good quality, but um, we'll see. I, I definitely splurged a bit. I got the... Uh, Midnight Solar's The Kid charge controller. So, it feels like it's made real well. And I've seen a lot of reviews on them, and none of them, they talk about the, the things being a bit small in here and hard to get to and all that. So, But none of them showed it in there, so we're going to take a peek in there. So I got to anyway to hook it up, so let's get a little closer. All right, so here we are. Up close view of it if you haven't seen one looks like it's only one bolt holding the back cover on you can see in there a little bit but I had to get in there to hit the wires up anyway Like a little lock washer, one of those ones with teeth kind of in there, but it looks like it's just going to stay. Yeah. Probably get it out if you want to, but it's staying. So. Alright, looks pretty good in there. Looks pretty well made. Nice coating on it. I don't know if you can, if that it helps any. Yeah, that was the one thing I never wanted to see was how the terminal block was. It's in here, it's well labeled. But it is a little bit smaller than I was, would have expected. Um, 10 gauge wire, I don't think it'll be a problem. Uh, 8 gauge wire. 8 gauge wire you can get in there, I believe. Maybe, maybe 6. You're going to have to try real hard. But that's going to be a pain. But yeah, 10, 8 gauge, you should be alright on it. So there we have it the inside let's get this bad boy wired up and see what it can, we can get out our little bitty panel okay because i forgot to say it earlier i bought this with my own money i ordered it from alt e the midnight king or midnight solar the kid uh, i bought it with my own money I ordered it from alt e out of massachusetts online I checked eBay, Amazon, everywhere I'd seen them. It was uh, four fifteen, so I figured it was worth paying twenty bucks for shipping. So four fifteen plus twenty and some change shipping, and then um, order after I ordered it, I realized that Missouri Wind and Solar had it for three oh five. So I could have got it ten bucks cheaper, but I think it'll be all right. And when I got it, I, like I said, I wanted to get something that's going to last, uh, hopefully, and. Um, got some future plans way on down the road in Fort. I didn't want to be constantly buying some of the same equipment over and over. And, I mean, right now, I'm not going to be nowhere near its potential. But, I think that was my weakest link in the system at the moment. And now everything else is. <laughs> um, so, I ordered it. Got it installed. It seems to be working. And it's about it's after quarter after four here right now, so the sun's going down. I already got trees blocking the panels and all that. Now I need to get some more, get some wiring a little better in here. I'm gonna either do some breaker boxes and wire it up a little bit safer because I start running four panels in series, it's a little too much voltage to just. You know, basic fuse on, I feel. So we're going to be doing some upgrades here. But let's take a look and see how it's working. On the kid. Like. 
case so maybe I can see a little better. All right, what we got? All right, three amps. <laughs> Well, it was three. Like I said, there's some tree shadows across it. A couple of clouds floating by outside. So I think most of the time I was getting two amps. Two and a half was the biggest I've ever seen on the other one. That was just a PWM. And it's a Renogy 100 watt panel. And as I said, the sun's going down. The trees are blocking it. It's late in the afternoon here back in the woods. So. I figure it probably, the PWM probably averaged around 2 amps. And this thing, late in the day, we've been bumping on 3 amps off and on, um, just under. So we have one expensive amp hour. Yeah, but I think it'll, it'll shine a little bit better tomorrow come noon. I had to do some running around, so I didn't get to install this till this evening. But it'll be ready for first thing in the morning. We'll keep you posted on this and my upgrades hey just wanted to throw here on the end um, on my midnight solar charge controller the kid as I was looking at it before I wired it up I said you might squeeze maybe eight six gauge in there um, I didn't think about it but after wired it up the 10 fit in there pretty snugly you might can squeeze eight in there but I'd recommend if you're getting this uh, to plan on just running 10 gauge to be safe as it's what the manual calls for anyway. I mean, maybe you can squeeze it in there, but it's going to be tight. Just stick with 10 if you're planning on running it, I'd say, on it. Uh, some final thoughts of my first impressions. So far, I like it. It's It wasn't cheap by any stretch of the imagination. But um, I, feel, I feel it's pulled out about twice as much as what the PM controller I ha or PWM controller I had before done. Um, it's nothing impressive. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination because well it's only got 100 watt panel up there and it's shaded half the time um, I may or may not take out a couple of trees to improve that situation but uh, it's it's really trying I can tell where it's trying to squeeze every ounce out of it I'm already seeing like I said a good double of what I did off the PWM I didn't I had to do a lot of run around today so I didn't get to just watch it like a hawk or anything but I've already seen it crack for over, it was like 4.1 amps, which, I mean, generally speaking, at any given time, the PWM was maybe 2 amps top. So it's, it's double, and the voltage, I've run, run the batteries out a little bit, the voltage just came up a lot faster through the day than it did off my PWM. So it's definitely doing a good job. Um, it's Through its menus, I've seen the uh, panel. It says what it runs at. It says it's running the panel at 18.9 volts, and it, it'll vary around a little bit in between there, but I think it's, you know, adjusting for the shading, which is understandable, but uh, seems to be, that's exactly what Renogy says up there on the back of the panel, and you look it up online, is its maximum power point is at 18.9. Uh, I wish I'd have gotten it at full sun. I said I had to do a bunch of running around. I just showed it, but I mean, four amps, four and a half amps probably out of it, I'm guessing. Um, well, I was able to run in here and look at it before I had to take off, but I didn't have the camera. But uh, it, was, it was a four and a quarter, I think it was, somewhere in there. I can't remember now, but like I said, it's like twice what the PWM was. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, there's one thing I want to say about it. I was worried about it at first that the backlight, I'd see every time I seen a review or somebody talking about it, this backlight was always on. I mean, it, for you to know our experience, we'll know it's going to go out. But just in case you're wondering, yeah, the backlight does turn off after a while. I mean, if you can't see it, I think you can see it there, but that should show, that may or may not show up in the video. Yeah, it should. But it will turn off in a while. You can do your manual. I'm getting, I'm getting 2.5 amps out of it right now, and it's, it's 420 now. Uh, so the sun's already setting down, and it's starting to get shade on it again. So it's done pretty good. And then there's other menus on it. We'll take a look at it real quick. See the whole 32 watts, what you've seen yesterday when I was talking. Of course, it'll be all the same to you. Uh, where's it at? I pulled 13 amp hours um, out of that thing today, which, like I said, I guarantee that's twice as good as what I was getting out of the 
the PWM. So I'm pretty happy with it. Now I just need to get some more panels to feed it into, to feed it a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, I had to go away from work, go away with work. So it's going to be a few weeks before I can do anything else. Uh, three weeks for uh, I can't even uh, do anything else to it, even if I had the money. Um, but uh, we definitely want to put some more panels up there and feed it a little better. And we'll we'll keep y'all updated if anybody's interested. <laughs> Any questions on it? Uh, leave a comment down below. Y'all take care.